Hi gang, in today's video, let's go over how to compare Salesforce row groupings to one another using the Prev group val formula. Let's say I have this report of opportunities. I want to see how the amounts compare over the calendar year based on the close date. So first I'll quickly edit my report and add the close date as a row grouping. Let's hide the details just so that the groupings are a little easier to see. And now that I see the close date grouping, let's change that to calendar year. The only thing that I'm missing is a column that totals my amount. So I have the amount column or the amount field down here. Let's just make sure it's summarizing. And for this demo, I don't need the record count column, so I'll hide that. And then let's just do a quick save and run to make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to. Great, this is exactly what I needed. So now let's go back into the report and make a ton of changes. So like I said before, I want to compare the amounts across years and I specifically want to know by how much the amounts change. Now looking at the parent group val and prev group val resource in Salesforce, I'll just quickly confirm I want to use the prev group val formula because that function will calculate values relative to a peer grouping. And in this case, my peer groupings are these calendar years. So let's just copy the report syntax that Salesforce has here. Back to the report builder, let's add a new summary formula. Let's call it percent change because eventually that's what we want to show. And let's keep it as a number for now because we want to do this in baby steps so that we fully understand what the formula is doing. So I'll paste that syntax here. And these are the things that we have to replace. So summary field is going to represent the field that you want calculated or totaled, which in our case is the opportunity amount. And in this case with our groupings, we want the sum of the amount for each calendar year. Our grouping level is going to be the API name of the grouping. So in this case, we only have one grouping and that's for close date. And then increment represents the number of previous groupings that we'd want to do the calculation against. But in this case, that answer is zero. So we'll just delete it. Validate. And our validation failed because I did not pick our display. So in terms of where we want the formula to show up, we want it to show up for every row where there's a year. Let's do specific groups and close dates our only group. Let's validate this again. Now our formula is valid. We can hit apply. And then let's save and run and see what we've got. Okay, so what's happening here? We have our close date year, our amount summarized from the opportunity records, and our prev group val formula. So the formula is doing basically what's in the name, right? This 3195 in 2018 is the same amount as the 3195 in 2017. So the formula is doing exactly what it says. It's showing the previous grouping's value on each of the rows. So this is not what we want, but this is a good way to see that we're on the right track and that we've set up the formula correctly. So now let's go back into the report builder. I want to see the amount of change between the previous grouping and the current grouping. So to do that, let's grab the opportunity amount for the current grouping and subtract the opportunity amount from the previous grouping. Save and run. So now what are we seeing? In our percent change field, we're actually seeing that change. We're seeing that the 2017 amount went down by 3.2 million for 2018 and so on and so forth. So this is actually the data that we wanted from the very beginning. But now let's take it up a step further and let's make that value a percent. So for this next part, more basic math. We want to take that changed amount value and divide it by the previous grouping's value. Oh, 
Oh, and just really quickly, another mathematical thing, we have to remember PEMDAS. So you need to put this subtraction calculation in parentheses in order for it to work properly. Otherwise, Salesforce validates it, but it's technically not doing the correct math. If you don't remember what PEMDAS is or have never heard of this concept, I will link it in the description, but let's apply. And I can see that our percent change is in decimal format, but to make it clean, let's make it a percent. Okay, and now we can see the actual percent change. So this is already exactly what we wanted, but if we want to jazz this up, let's add conditional formatting to make that percent change a little more visible. So click conditional formatting. Let's add a conditional formatting rule based on our formula field. And let's say anything less than or equal to 0%. We'll color in this peach. And anything greater than zero, let's do green. Oh, actually, we need to delete that. Anything greater than zero, let's do green. Done. Apply. Save and run. And there you go. That's how you use PrevGroup val to compare values and changes between row groupings in a Salesforce report. Hope this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it was, and subscribe to find out when I make more quick videos like this. Thanks.